So I'm just getting ready to fly to Canada and I am packing all my ascensions away from the island for 10 days. So I'm just making sure that I'm not overpacking and underpacking, obviously. Different climate, different weather right now. My main focus is to keep fueled while I'm traveling. I have a four hour flight to Toronto and then approximately a two hour flight to Halifax. So a little long day. So I wanna make sure that I'm not eating garbage while I'm traveling, um, packing some of my total human vitamins while I'm traveling and also essential, my favorite Quest Bars. So making sure I'm taking these with me, stay up to date with what I'm going to be posting. I'm just gonna focus on what I'm taking in terms of nutrition. I think it's really important to stay fueled and hydrated while you're traveling. It's extremely important. So another reason why I like to pre-plan what I'm taking in regards to what I'm going to eat during a long haul flight is because I would personally make not the best decisions um, on that day. Not that it's bad to indulge or make different choices than what you normally would do, but I like to prioritize my nutrition and make sure that I don't kind of fall off track too much when I'm traveling. I think it's extremely important when you are focused on certain specific goals or you just want to stay consistent. Not to mention that food is ridiculously expensive in the airports, on your flight, so if you're looking for a cost-effective approach in regards to nutrition when you are traveling, pack. So if you are looking for cost-effective options in regards to nutrition when you are traveling, pre-plan, take some snacks with you, just make sure that they're easily travelable in regards to you're not going to take a frozen dinner, you're not going to take things that are perishable. So make sure you make, you know, some some smart choices in regards to what you can take with you. And unless I'm in a massive hurry, I walk the stairs. I don't care if I have a carry on or not. I go to the stairs. And especially when you're traveling for a long extended period of time, I think it's really important to just structure your day, know what you're gonna be taking in for fuel, kind of have a plan of attack before you even go. Now, my day was a total of nine and a half hours. So I can plan accordingly for a short haul in regards to that time duration for nutrition. But some of these travel itineraries, they go you know layovers all day long just plan accordingly make sure you're kind of set up for your your travel itinerary in regards to when you're going to eat what you're going to eat your options available unfortunately in airports there's not a lot of extremely healthy choices and personally i like to know what's in my food i ask a lot of questions <laughs> So just knowledge is power. Know what you're buying essentially and the ingredients and it kind of sets you up for success. Another great reason to pre-plan your nutrition and pack some food is because there's a lot of places in certain airports, depending on where you are in the world, that the restaurants and convenience stores are temporarily closed. One, because of the pandemic. Two, because they don't have staff. So you don't want to get caught in that situation of being super hungry and not having healthy choices and potentially not having choices at all. So try to make as many healthy choices as you can when you are traveling, stay hydrated, try to stay active, take the stairs instead of the escalator unless you're carrying massive loads of luggage where that is a workout in itself and make a little bit of extra room in your carry-on, take some good healthy snacks, have some options. made it to my final destination safe and sound did spend a little bit of money didn't pack as much as I wanted to but I did have some vegetables some fruit and my protein bars bought water in the airport and I bought some beef jerky and some other little things so I was fine and I wasn't miserable because I ate too much or I ate too little 
I made healthy choices and my energy level was up. I didn't feel lethargic or miserable um, because of what I consumed throughout my day of travel. So that is your help in regards to staying healthy while traveling.